हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज विकास सो फ्रेंड्स वी हैव एन ऐप बाय द नेम कैरियर्स क्लाउड व्हिच यू कैन गो एंड डाउनलोड थ्रू द प्ले स्टोर इन योर एंड्रॉइड फोन्स दिस ऐप विल हेल्प यू इन बूस्टिंग योर प्रिपरेशन वंस यू हैव डाउनलोडेड दिस ऐप यू कैन गो एंड लॉग इन विद योर जीमेल और गूगल आईडी इन दिस एप्लीकेशन एंड वंस यू हैव लॉग्ड इन देन यू विल बी ट्रांसफर्ड टू दिस पेज हियर ऑन दिस पेज यू विल बी एबल टू सी होम ऑल कोर्सेज माई कोर्सेज एंड डाउट सेशंस ऑल्सो सो इन द कोर्सेज इफ वी टॉक टू यू इन द कोर्सेज इन आर इफ यू परचेज कोर्स फ्रॉम अस वी विल बी प्रोवाइडिंग यू विद मल्टीपल मटीरियल फॉर योर प्रिपरेशन मटीरियल सच एज your daily current affairs your weekly current affairs your monthly current affairs in daily we will be providing you with 20 questions quiz in ebook that is in your pdf formats of the questions of that particular day then we'll be providing you in weekly with the same 50 question quiz that will be a compiled and important 50 questions and also we'll be providing you a compiled pdf of the weekly current affairs then in the question answer format also it will be a very helpful pdf and similarly for monthly also will be providing you important monthly current affairs on a monthly basis so the same content you will be revising maximum number of times and it will help you in your preparation we'll also provide material related to your banking and awareness also and apart from that we'll be covering all important topics such as your apps and web portal important days books and authors national affairs international affairs sports defense awards obituary important days and what not everything will be covered in this topic wise by me only so apart from that we also provide state wise current affairs that will also help you to prepare for the regional exams welcome back friends so in today's video we will be discussing important current affairs of the topic science and technology of march month the session will be very important and helpful for you so do pay attention till the end the first topic that we are discussing is about long march 8 rocket i repeat recently rocket by the name long march 8 has recently launched 22 satellites into the space now the question will be asked in such a way that long march 8 rocket is of which country it belongs to china first thing that you need to remember second how many satellites were taken into space or how many satellites were launched into the space using this long march 8 rocket a total of 22 satellites were launched into the space using this china's long march 8 rocket on 27th of feb china claimed that a domestic record for the most spacecraft launched by a single rocket and that is the long march 8 rocket that took 22 satellites into the space from the wencheng spacecraft launch site in south china's hainan province all right and with the help of casc what is casc it is your china aerospace science and technology corporation what is cnsa cnsa is the space agency that is related to the china roscosmos it is the space agency of russia roscosmos all right remember this so coming back long march 8 it is the rocket of china that made a record for the most spacecraft or record for the most spacecraft to launch 22 satellites in space from the wencheng space craft launch site all right so another way the question that can be framed is that name the rocket that claimed a domestic record for the most spacecraft launched by a single rocket by launching a long march 8 rocket to place 22 satellites in space and the name is long march 8 rocket and it is of china it was launched on 27th of february next next we are talking about ula remember we are talking about noaa's newest earth observing satellite that was launched by nasa along with ula but first of all we know what is nasa all right it is a space agency of united states of america but what is this term ula stands for this is also an organization but you should know what does this stand for what is the full form of this ula it is important so remember ula what does this stands for united launch alliance all right nasa has successfully launched the third in a series of geostationary operational environmental satellite that is known by the name gos r all right it is a weather satellite named 
goes T through United Launch Alliance Atlas V 541 rocket from the Space Launch Complex of 41 at the Cape Canaveral Space Station from Florida in United States of America. I repeat, NASA has recently successfully launched the third in a series of GOES. What is GOES? GOES is your geostationary operational satellite. It is a weather satellite, namely GOES T. All right, it is known by GOES T also. Another thing, it was launched from the national. Uh, it was launched for the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Then question can be asked recently, which satellite? was launched specifically targeting your NOAA that is your National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. It is your which satellite goes R. It was launched by whom? It was launched by NASA. The first two of the goes R series were launched in the year 2016 and 2018 respectively. In 2016, it was goes 16 and in 2018, it was named by the name goes 17 and now in 2020 uh, 2022 it is the third series of this goes r weather satellite that was launched and what is the name of this it is goes t all right next once goes t is positioned into the geostationary orbit that is around 22300 miles above the earth it will be renamed to goes 18 so coming back goes 16 goes 17 goes 18 goes 16 was launched in the year 2016 goes 17 in 2018 and goes 18 will be in 2022 this is right now known as goes t and when it will be placed into the orbit geostationary orbit it will be known as your goes 18 or uh, goes 18 all right Next, the satellite will provide continuous coverage of weather and hazardous environmental conditions in the Western Hemisphere. Apart from this, tell me which is the organization that has provided internet in Ukraine. To the people of Ukraine recently, Dash organization presented the internet to the people of Ukraine. It was your Starlink. Starlink is a company of Elon Musk. Elon Musk is now planning to buy Twitter due to which Twitter has swallowed a poison pill. All right, we gave this answer. The correct answer for this was it was for Twitter. All right, it is to dissolve the share of the upcoming new shareholders. Next, next, remember Param Ganga. Param Ganga is a supercomputer. It is a petascale supercomputer. The speed of this supercomputers are measured in flops. All right, they are measured in flops. And then, where was this Param Ganga established? This was established at IIT Roorkee under National Supercomputing Mission. All right, this Param Ganga was established at. IIT Roorkee, it was established under which mission? It was established under National Supercomputing Mission. And question will be asked in a different way that this Param Ganga that was established at IIT Roorkee, what is it? It is a supercomputer, it is a normal computer, it is a quantum computer and none of these are similarly. So remember it has to be a supercomputer. Moving on. Next, we'll be talking about a military satellite that is the second edition of this military satellite was launched into the orbit by which country? It is Iran. But what is the name of this satellite? You can see here, Iran has put their second military orbit into the satellite and the name of the satellite is Noor. All right, it is Noor too because this is the second edition of the satellite. Noor here also means light. On 8th of March, remember 8th of March is also known as International Women's Day. So on 8th of March, the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, that is your IRCG of Iran, has successfully put their second edition of the Noor 2 satellite, or that is also known as Light in Persian, into the orbit at an altitude of 500 kilometers. The announcement came as talks held in the Vienna to review an agreement restraining Iran's nuclear program have reached a critical stage. All right, so no two satellites question will be direct and simple that 
नूर सेटेलाइट और नूर टू सेटेलाइट इट इज ऑफ विच कंट्री इट इज ऑफ इरान देन सम अदर सेटेलाइट वी सॉ नूर इज ऑफ इरान अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस रासद वन जफर वन दे आर ऑल्सो द सेटेलाइट ऑफ इरान ओनली एंड इफ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट कैपिटल ऑफ इरान इट इज तेहरान प्रेजिडेंट इज इब्राहिम राइसी करेंसी इज इरानियन रियाल नेक्स्ट चाइना हैज डेवलप्ड अ लेजर वेपन टू डिस्ट्रॉय सेटेलाइट इन स्पेस researchers from china has developed a new technology that is based on or you can say it is based on laser it, and it will help to destroy the satellites in space china has developed a microwave machine that is relativistic klystron amplifier also known as rka relativistic klystron amplifier it will jam or destroy the satellites or sensitive electronics in the satellites that are present in space it will act, uh, function as a high powered laser weapon so this rk will work as a laser weapon and this will help to destroy satellites or the sensitive electronic equipments that are based uh, law, present in satellites and the satellites which are present in space so the name of this new laser weapon that will help to destroy the satellites in space is rka that is relativistic klystron amplifier and which is the country that has developed this laser weapon technology it is your china this device can generate a wave burst of 5 megawatts in the ka band this band is a portion of the electromagnetic spectrum used for civil and military purposes all right apart from this if we are talking about this spectrum then tell me recently james space web telescope was this is the largest telescope that was launched into the space can you tell me this will have the spectrum or this will look into the universe in which range tell me will it capture the infrared region will it capture the uv region or the visible spectrum what this james space web telescope will be capturing it will be capturing the infrared region all right infrared region it will be capturing that means the areas in the space in the universe that are hot will term will be considered red or will appear red and which are cold will be blue here all right so it will be working on the infrared technology james space web telescope and if we are talking about relativistic klystron amplifier that is a laser weapon launched or developed by china to destroy the satellites or electronics that are present in the satellites into the space and this will be working on which band it will be working in the ka band all right and it is a proportion of the electromagnetic spectrum that is used for civil and military purposes next mark this important next we are talking about earth's defender don't worry it is they are not avengers all right earth's defender has been named as vigil this vigil has been introduced by european space agency first of all remember this all right vigil it is the earth's defender and it was uh, launched or introduced by esa that is your european space agency what this vigil the earth's defender will do is if there is a solar storm solar storm solar flare all right that is heading towards the earth and we know during these solar storms and during these solar flares the earth's equipment be it a satellite or any other electronic equipments they are destroyed or they stop working for certain period of time so to avoid that because if those satellites stop working for a period of time say for example a satellite that is responsible for the communication around the world say for india only all right there is a solar storm and that particular satellite is not working so due to that reason many communication channels based in india will be prohibited and they won't work for a certain period of time till that solar flare is present and if that equipment gets destroyed then it won't be working for a longer periods itself then we have to replace it by a new satellite so these are some of the disadvantages of solar flare so what we can do to overcome such solar flares 
only we can do is be prepared for itself all right when there is a solar storm or a solar flare this particular earth's defender that is your vigil that has been launched by european space agency will aware the person or aware us so that we can take the necessary steps those steps what can be those steps now those steps can be we can change the path or we can just change our direction of our equipment so that we won't have that much impact impact we can be ready for these flares so that when there is a solar flare or a solar storm we can channelize our that time into another thing so for example if there is a uh, as we told that communication satellite is destroyed by the particular storm so we can channelize those channels for which that satellite was being used to a different satellite where their storm is not present all right so we can channelize it we can route it reroute it accordingly if we know that there will be a storm in future so all right we, as they say we should be prepared for any disaster so if we look at it this european space agency vigil position in an unvisited position in space that will help us to warn the earth about the oncoming solar storms which can damage the power grids disrupt telecommunications and threaten satellites all right this will provide more time to protect spacecraft in orbit infrastructure on the ground and explore now and in the future the unshielded by the earth's magnetic field and vulnerable to our stars violent outbursts so we can get time and plan accordingly this is the basic reason or this is the basic aim of this european space agency's vigil coming back question will be direct earth's defender that was launched by esa what is the name of it it is vigil it will help us to protect from what or it will help us to make humans aware about what solar storms and solar flare on 10th of feb in 2022 the european space agency has introduced their one of its kind mission that is vigil this is me and the reason is it is earth defender so it is meant to protect the earth from its nearest sun that is star vigil is derived from the latin word that is vigilia meaning wakefulness all right the mission was previously named as lag range after the location of the mission spacecraft will be sent but later the name has been changed to vigil itself all right so everything is here earth defender that was launched by esa it is vigil it will help us to make us aware of the oncoming solar storm or solar flare and from where this solar storm and solar flare comes from the nearest star that is our sun next next we are talking about a quadruple asteroid system recently asteroid with three moons was spotted all right that is the reason it is known as quadruple quadruple is a group of four so an asteroid along with three moons it is a quadruple system astronomers from thailand discovered their first quadruple asteroid system among which three were moons so coming back question will be simple that quadruple and uh, asteroid system was recently found by the astronomers of which country they were found they were from thailand a team of researchers from thailand and france that was led by anthony burdu of the national aeronautical research institute of thailand have discovered the third moon that is 130 electra orbiting the main belt asteroid electra which has already two moons in its orbit the discovery of the new moonlet has made electra as the first known quadruple asteroid system in our solar system so question can this be all also asked that which is the first known quadruple asteroid system in our solar system it is electra the research findings have been titled first observation of quadruple asteroid and was published in the journal astronomy and astro physics it was the scientist of thailand along with france that were from the national aeronautical research institute that is present in thailand that made this discovery of the first known quadruple asteroid system by the name electra next next we are talking about new generation here ng stands for new generation of hansa it has successfully completed the sea trials at puducherry so first question where has been the sea trials of hansa that is a new generation aircraft been conducted it was conducted at puducherry all right 
Then next thing, this Hansa NG that is the new generation designed developed by whom? It has been designed and developed by CSIR NAL. What is this CSIR NAL? CSIR NAL stands for Council of Scientific and Industrial Research and NAL is a department of CSIR that is your National Aerospace Laboratory has successfully designed and developed this Hansa NG. All right, it is the India's first indigenous flying trainer. And where have been the sea trials of this Hansa NG been conducted or completed? It was at Pudu Cherry. This is also important. The aircraft was flown to Pudu Cherry covering 140 nautical miles in one and a half hour at a speed of 155 kilometers per hour. All the objectives of the sea level trials are met and NAL operates under the aegis of CSIR. As I told you, NAL is a department of CSIR. Where is the headquarter of CSIR? It is in New Delhi. Next, NASA has started the assembly of a new spacecraft that will carry out the Europa Clipper mission. What is this new aircraft? Remember, first thing you need to remember, NASA. This NASA has started a Europa Clipper spacecraft Question can be vice versa that Europa Clipper spacecraft is recently being assembled by which organization? It is being assembled by NASA. Then can you tell me this Europa? What is this Europa? This Europa, it is the moon of Jupiter. What is interesting about Europa is that its atmosphere is made up of oxygen it contains oxygen all right the atmosphere of europa contains very thin atmosphere it compares primarily of oxygen apart from this you will find silicate rocks water ice crust and probably iron nickel ore there in europa and it is the moon of jupiter so recently a spacecraft that will be going on a mission to europa that is the moon of Jupiter, this mission has been started by whom? It is by NASA and it is Europa Clipper spacecraft. If we talk about the spacecraft, the spacecraft has been designed and constructed by Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory that is in NASA's God Space Flightcraft Center and Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Most of the hardware are expected to be assembled before the year 2022. So it is directly the mission of NASA that you need to remember. Europa Clipper spacecraft and this Europa it is a moon of Jupiter which also contains primarily oxygen into this thin atmosphere. Next so friends these were some important science and technology related questions that you need to know for the March month. Apart from this if we discuss some few important current affairs of previous month that can be of use for you such as President's color. President's Color is an award that is presented to a military unit who has served during the war or during the peace times for the country. So this time it was presented to Indian naval ship Valsura. Who presents this President's Color? This award is presented by the President of India and currently Ramnath Kovind is the President of India. Next thing. Next we are talking about the Best MSME Award. Alright, remember bank with the uh, which is the best bank for msme it is your karnataka bank this best msme bank that is the eighth edition of the msme excellence award was presented to karnataka bank during the asucham awards second thing that you need to remember here next we are talking about the first african who won the Pritzker architecture prize he is diabdo francis carey Nobel Prize of Architecture is also known as Pritzker. Nobel Prize of Maths is known as Abel Prize because in the Nobel Prize are not given in this field. Then remember who became the first African, first African to win this Pritzker Architecture Prize. It is Diabdo Francis Carey. Next, next we are talking about the second edition. That is the second edition of the Export Preparedness Index. Recently, remember, Niti Aayog has released the second edition of the Export Preparedness Index and the state that has stopped in this Export Preparedness Index is your Gujarat. Gujarat has secured the first position in the Export Preparedness Index for the year 2020, one that was released by Niti Aayog. 
Next, which is the first airline that will be using the solar fuel? First airline to use the solar fuel is your Swiss airline. All right, Swiss airline will be using has became the first airline that will be using solar fuel. Next, which is the first state that has introduced the carbon neutral farming? methods in order to reduce the carbon from the atmosphere carbon neutral farming methods were introduced by which state it is your kerala similarly remember government of india has planned to make india carbon neutral by which year by the year 2070 india is planning to make uh, government of india is planning to make india carbon neutral then by the year 2025 how many new airports are being planned to be constructed by india government of india is planning to construct a new 220 airports by the year 2025 where is the india's first ever digital water bank located i repeat first ever digital water data bank is located at karnataka important we have done this multiple time it is just a revision for you all next Silinex Silinex was this exercise conducted between which two countries it was conducted between as i told you sri lanka and india ex is your exercise so silinex is an exercise that was conducted between sri lanka and india from 7 to 10th of march next important next we are talking about anti collision system i repeat anti collision system for railways that was recently developed it is to avoid railway accidents and it has been launched by indian railways it was successfully tested by indian railways what is the name of this anti collision system it is kavach important the anti collision system is kavach all right next an application mobile application was recently released by world health organization by the name quick tobacco application this quit quit tobacco application will be helping many individuals to quit the habit of smoking they this application will help them to get them the knowledge about the cravings what they should do during the cravings what are the ways they can quit smoking how to avoid smoking and how to find the alternatives that are related to smoking so this application that was released by world health organization WHO WHO is the organization that is responsible for the covid-19 variants naming so those were some revision for you now let me give you some questions as homework which you have to comment below they are important they are the up recent current affairs and they will be a very good revision for you so first question who has been appointed as the new vice chairperson of niti ayog i repeat who has been appointed as the new vice chairman of niti ayog along with it tell me the number which is this number vice chairman say for example b is the correct answer or c is the correct answer or d is the correct answer he became the which number of vice president of niti ayog second question india out this was a campaign that is associated with which country india out second question third question the association of world election bodies that is awab it is located in which country i repeat association of world election bodies aweb it is located in which country this is your third question as your homework all right all you have to do is comment below the answer of these three questions below i will be checking all the comments that are there so friends that was our video i hope you enjoyed the session i hope you gained multiple things from it all you have to do is like the video and if you want us to continue with such sessions if you want us to bring such revision videos for you in future also comment below and let us know that what are your views on it because your views your comments are highly appreciated also if you have any trouble regarding login or payment or any other issues then you can reach to us on our mail that is support at the rate of affairscloud.com or you can call us on the number 9677333862 and we'll resolve your issue as soon as possible also you should go and check our courses that are available at a very reasonable price and that will help you to boost your preparation